Hello and welcome to the International Programme. What makes Herzogenau Rach so special is not the town itself, but the people in it and the stories they have to tell. Today we bring you the first of three stories about three young girls who are taking the world and Herzogenau Rach by storm. Writing as a form of communication is something we all learn in school. Creative writing as a form of communication is personal and insightful in knowing the right words for a poem or story. You know, wherever you may be in the world, there is only one place that you can truly call home. Spoken like a true old soul, for our first young talent has a lot to say in words beyond her years. Let's start with her latest accomplishment. So I've written a book which is called Fantasia Adventures and it is a fantasy story about a girl named Lizzie who mysteriously she just lands in this world Fantasia one day and she goes exploring and she finds out about evil queen Sophie who's plotting to destroy all the good and take over and Lizzie being an adventurous person wants to go on the hard journey to stop her and she does whatever it takes, she meets new people, and finds new magic in her life. Priyanka's magic began at an early age and started her on a journey of self-expression. The first time I started to write for myself personally was when I was in second grade around. I wrote a story called The Bucket List Detectives. I just decided to start writing because it was something that I enjoyed to do. And I also wrote another story called Liana's Adventures in Wonderland. So that's basically where my writing journey started off. Unlike most writers, Priyanka is only halfway through her formal schooling at the Franconian International School. She did profess that grade six takes up more of her spare time However, she still manages to. Of course, I love to spend time with my friends, talk to my family and friends who don't live here. I also like to read a lot. I occasionally do some baking for fun, and I learn crochet, which was taught to me by my babysitter. I play badminton and I do some swimming. I also play the keyboard and just normal life. This normal life has aided her integration into her Herzogenaura community. Atlantis, music school, and of course, our library. I used to come to the libraries second grade, third grade, and before, a couple years ago, when the library used to be near the Marktplatz, it was, it was a, like a smaller building, but I found that a bit cozy, and it was really nice to go and look at the different books in English and in German. I first started reading the English books with also the German translation so that I could get better at German when I was younger and then gradually I just finished the English books and I decided to move on to the German books and the more often we come to the library, the more often I get to use my German and it helps me be more part of the Herzl community. To enhance this connection to her Herzogenaurach community, Priyanka recently donated her book to the library. Head librarian Gabriela Lechner shares her pride in supporting local talents. Ich habe mich vor allem gefreut, dass die Bücherei ein Exemplar geschenkt bekommen hat und ich finde, das ist ein ganz positives Beispiel, dass so ein junges Mädchen in der schweren Corona Zeit so ein tolles Buch geschrieben hat. Ich finde es in einem sehr schönen Sprache geschrieben, ein guter Stil. Ja, und normalerweise, wenn ein Autor in eine Bibliothek kommt und ein Buch vor sich vorstellt, dann signiert er auch Bücher. Und deswegen habe ich Priyanka auch gebeten, eine Widmung in das Buch reinzuschreiben. Und da steht jetzt, Dear Readers, I hope you enjoy the magical experience of reading this book. And what type of book gives her that magical experience? I like fantasy and realistic fiction, but my favorite of all of them are the mystery books, especially the D3, Ausrufezeichen, Ausrufezeichen, Ausrufezeichen. That series is my favorite. And also especially because they're in German, it helps me a lot. The Herzl Library has been one of those libraries where I found a lot of books that interest me and have helped me to develop my passion to read. Priyanka's life has melded itself between three cultures. 
her international school community, her Herzog community, and her birthplace, India. In today's world, it's easy to stay connected, but she takes a particular interest in her cultural heritage. I learned some Indian languages and learned about the history of India, so that even though I'm not in India, where they would typically teach me all those things, I'm still learning about my country. And just for fun, she spices it up with Bollywood dancing. Overall, this has given her a unique view of where or what home really is. I pretty much grew up in Herzl, in this town, which I find is a really lovely place to grow up. My home is with the people that I spend most time with and the people that are my family and my friends. So it, my family is in India and a lot of my friends are here. So maybe sometimes I feel like I have two homes, a home here and a home in India. But truly a home isn't your house. A home is the place where you feel at comfort most. So for me, I feel like Sometimes I miss India, and maybe if I'm in India, I miss Germany, but I know I'll always feel at home wherever I am. Not only has she managed to bridge the cultural gaps, she has utilized it to fuel her creative inspiration. Mostly my ideas and inspiration comes from my imagination, but when I read books and articles or things like that, it gives me some inspiration. Also, a lot of my ideas come from school generally, maybe school life or friends and their personalities. My teachers, they help me make my stories and my ideas and my writing better. And overall, also, my school supported me a lot when I published this book and they have it in their libraries and a lot of my friends are reading it. So school is just a great place for me to express myself. Expressing herself through poetry has also become her forte. Doors closing, blinds down, a child walking by with a sad frown. Social distance, masks on, all the people long gone. Big parties. The disruptions of school life during the pandemic has had a significant impact on young people's lives. Writing has been a catharsis for Priyanka as she strives to inspire others through the power of her words. The importance of love and joy we cannot destroy. Humans losing control. Complicated futures ready to unfold. At a time like this, hand in hand, we hope we withstand. Let us not drown. Together we will beat this lockdown. Locked down or not, she continues to forge through her life, expressing herself in a variety of mediums. Look at that! Can I try? Yeah, you put the rest in. My love for writing also led me to um, have a TED Talk about the power of writing itself. I think the TED Talk was a really great experience, and it really is fun to do a TED Talk, even though it's really hard to work on everything, but in the end, overall, it's just really fun. And I've written some stories and poems for some competitions because I find sometimes competitions just make you push that extra mile. At this point in her life, the extra mile includes her compilation of poems, which was very recently published, and a new series of stories in her favorite genre, mystery. A common denominator with each of our young talents is how their personal passions help to give them clarity for their future lives. Well, in the future, no matter what I do, I, I know and I want to still write. And it doesn't necessarily have to be books. It could be articles. It could be just short stories. But I want to write in some way, and I want to show the world what I can write and what I can do. It's going well, and now we're coming up with a bunch of different designs. Be it school projects or writing for herself, Priyanka exudes a positive outlook on life, which gives a refreshing perspective for all of us. You just got to live your life, and you just have to pay attention to what you want and what you think you need to do, and follow your dreams. As we all follow our dreams, 
we will also be following the next chapters in the life of this young local talent. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.